I'm the assistant basketball coach at John Skinwalker Community College. We haven't won any games. I never played a game of basketball in the NBA. The first thing you gotta do is you gotta do something. The last couple of years the world hasn't been that great. I take responsibility for that. I'm, I'm, I got the motor that makes the whole world run. And I gotta be honest, I haven't been doing my job lately. I, I'm sorry for not doing the things that I'm supposed to, but, you know, I, sometimes you just forget about what you're supposed to do. Sometimes you forget what's your job, and um, I kind of did that. So, but it's gonna, it's, things are gonna change. I'm gonna do a little better, and the world's gonna get better. You know, when I get better, the world gets better. Simple as that. So it's my personal responsibility to lead the charge of getting better so the world can get better. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. I went to a Christmas party on June 17th, 1953. There was a pool, a trampoline, and people were dressed like prunes. Six or seven things happened in the living room. I touched the couch with my pants, and I touched the potato chip with my mouth. I tried to show someone my nose because it felt like my nose was over three centimeters long. The people that were dressed like pool water didn't have any genitals. Someone threw a ping pong ball at me because they thought I was made of lava. Most of the people with genitals were drinking on the roof. My genitals tried to climb on the roof, but I fell in the pool. The other day we tried to buy some kitten mayonnaise, but the 
objects we used to buy the kitten mayonnaise could not be processed, so we weren't allowed to buy kitten mayonnaise. I sometimes visit the pipe system where my pipe system used to live. But my pipe system's mother never lets me see the place where my pipe system used to live because she says I still smell and because my pipe system is still dead. Call your mother and give her the information for how to create children out of the rainbows growing from your eyeball strain. Wait next to an abandoned teacup for the tow truck to arrive and drag the dead porcelain carcass back to the meat shop. A large overgrown boy was standing in the middle of the street with his mouth open. He was eating a thick spaghetti noodle that was hanging down from the atmosphere's inner cones. My dad tried to start a pottery catering business to sell my mom's best pottery to the crowd of people that I hired to scratch my throat whenever I got a new haircut glued to my face.